Do you want to be richer, have more clients, get more skill, or really any goal that ends with uh, ER? I want to be thinner. I want to be richer. I want to be uh, more successful. Uh, if you do, then you might have to beware. Uh, in the field of neurolinguistic programming and neurosemantics, we have this model called the well-formed outcome model. And what that consists of is uh, a handful of criteria for which we can check our goals or our outcomes against to make sure that they're well-formed. And if we don't check them against that criteria, we potentially have an ill-formed outcome, which leads to ill-formed results in our lives. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, probably about two of those ill-formed criteria to deal with the goals that are formed as uh, the, the ones that end in ER, so richer, thinner, more muscular, uh, or more. I want to be more rich, more fit. I want to be more successful. I want to have more skill. So if you have goals that are framed in that way, there's really this kind of perpetual nature to it. This ongoing, um, never fulfilled, uh, never going to reach an end state because I want to be more rich. I want to have more money. Well, 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 I'm going to keep on getting more rich and more money. When do I stop? Um, and it kind of creates this, this perpetual nature to it. So any goal that has a more blank or a richer ends in ER, what we would do, the, the main two well-formedness criteria is to, first of all, specify how much specifically. So if you want to be thinner, how much specifically do you want to be weighing? If you want to be richer, how can we specifically measure the amount of money that you want to make? So that's the first criteria we want to run that up against uh, to make it precise. So it's not just thinner, richer, more clients. How many more clients specifically do you want to have? So that's the first step. The second major well-formed criteria to run those sorts of goals against is to run it against the criteria of when specifically. So if your goal doesn't have a, a deadline on it or a date on it, it's not well formed because again, I want to have five new clients. Well, when do I have until the rest of my life? I want to lose eight pounds and weigh X on the scale. Well, is that just going to go on forever? So we need to put a deadline on it. So, so instead of I want to be richer, it's I want to make X amount of dollars by this date, or I want to make this much uh, dollars monthly. Um, and instead of I want to be thinner, it's I want to weigh this on the scale by this date. Instead of I want to have be more skilled, it's I want to gain these specific skills by this specific date. And so when we take these kind of vague goals, I want to be more blank or I want to be blanker, uh, and we go uh, make it specific and we put it on a deadline, all of a sudden the perpetual nature of the goal goes away and it becomes something realistic and measurable and attainable. And then there becomes a, a date, a time in the calendar where you can kind of check it off and go, woohoo, I did it. Or you get to that point in the calendar uh, where, where you get there and maybe you didn't get it and you go, ooh, I can rethink what I wanted to get because I made up how much in my mind. I said, I want to make... Uh, an extra $100 a week or an extra $500 a week or an extra $5,000 a week or whatever it is. I made up how much and I chose the deadline. I said I wanted it by January 1st or March 3rd or whatever the date is. So, okay, my hypothesis was wrong. Let me rethink how much uh, specifically and by when specifically and now uh, start experimenting again. So, that's my tip for you today. If you find yourself or your clients have these kind of vague goals of I want to be richer, I want to have more of a blank, um, then really tighten up the time frame and get how much specifically. I actually have a whole program on making well-formed outcomes. It's a home study program. So if you're interested in looking at that and uh, maybe running it through all 10 of the well-formed outcome criteria that I run in that program, uh, feel free to check it out. I'll add a link uh, around here. My name is Jason Schneider. I love working with coaches and leaders to help them to unleash the highest and best of human potential starting with themselves. And uh, I'm curious, uh, what is your goal coming up to the new year? Uh, what is your goal that you would like and how much specifically to make it measurable and by when? So I hope you found this video valuable. Feel free to leave your comments below and I hope to see you in the comments section.